Hi everyone, Martin here from martinsmayhem.co.uk. I hope you're all well. Today I'm going to be creating this card that you see here. Um, this is featuring the Sim Sain stamp set just for the UR. So it's very, very well, slimly using this stamp set. Um, we are also, well, the main focus of this card is the let's get the name sunshine and rainbow 6x6 six six designer series paper which is a free product um with orders of 45 pounds uh, or 60 euros and there's so much paper here it's just a pack of 6x6 six six paper lots and lots of designs but i'm going to be showing you how to create this card using this paper which you can already see that rainbow is super cute and so is a cloud, but we'll get into that. Uh, the word amazing is also from the amazing thanks dies, which you can see there. You have thanks, uh, amazing, you, and are, so they're super cute and really useful. Um, again, that's in our new mini catalog. So shall we just get started? You've heard enough of me talking. You want to see me make a card. So let's put the card up in the corner. Get rid of the stamp. So, so you're going to start with a piece of smoky slates. And this is just an A4 piece of card. Let's open this out. So you're going to want to put it in. So you're not going to cut along the short end at all. Actually, let's move it in so you can see the full sheet. So this is going to be the actual length of the card. And you're going to score at 9 centimetres and then cut at 18. And that is your card base. As simple as that. Bone folder, just to quickly down the edges, card base, and then this leftover piece you can use to cut your matte layer. So I'm going to cut that at eight centimeters by, uh, oh well, I'm just going to cut off eight centimeters, so it should be 20 centimeters you cut in it too, and that's just going to create. Your little map layer to sit on the top, like so. And that's simple. Uh, so, let's bring our example back in. I'm going to do the long bit first, and that is... It's bugging me that this isn't sitting flat. So let's really reinforce that. I'm just going to stick it up because it's annoying me. So... This matte layer, I'm going to tear the edges off just to create a little added interest. So I'm going to go corner to roughly corner. It doesn't have to be perfect. And this side, I'm just going to do a little bit of a smaller rip like so. I don't know how it goes off. So I'm just going to trim off a little bit more, like so. Okay, and this is going to give us like a peekaboo effect in order to add some of that amazing DSP. So, in the set, there is this piece of striped card with this blue uh, pool party love heart design on the back. Super cute, so I'm going to use this. I've cut it into three inches by eight. No, I think this is just shorter than eight centimeters because it, it was left over from this card, so you can see it's just slightly smaller, but it will still work fine. So I'm going to flip this round, I'm going to add a little bit of adhesive onto either end, like so, and then. Lining it up with our card, like so. And actually, I'm going to bring in my trimmer just so I can get it perfectly 
flush. So I'm pushing it into the corner and then butting this side up and this side, just so that it fits perfectly. And repeat on this side. Voila, it's as simple as that. So, I'm now gonna bring in my little sewing machine and it is little. Um, Stamp Hook obviously don't sell a sewing machine. Um, so I'll link to this one below. Um, but yeah, it's not that bad. It's nice and easy. Just gonna pop that in. And then I'm gonna start it off. So the last thing I want to do is refread it. He says having to refred it. So that's in. And then I'm just going to press go. And then lift it up. Pull that. And make a little snip. Okay, so I'm going to do that on all four sides. Doesn't matter which order you do it in, as long as you are starting. Well, as long as you do all four, it doesn't matter which way you do it. So let's start that off and go. And then, just one more side to do. I'm gonna cut all these fiddly bits off at the end. Do not worry. And last but not least. It's just an added detail. You don't have to do it if you don't want to, or if you don't have a sewing machine, you don't have to. But I think it adds a cute extra detail just to your project. Okay, off all these tails, like so. Now, what I have done is also in the paper, you have these two sheet so you've already got a printed rainbow and some clouds now there is a coordinated punch don't be silly like me and don't order it because i didn't and then i had to first cut it out make your life simple by the punch right because you don't you're gonna have to fussy cut it like me and we've got better things to be doing right now I'm going to bring in my trimmer again and the reason for that is I wanted it to look like the cloud was going into the, no, the rainbow was going into the cloud should I say. So what I've done is I've popped that into my trimmer 
and just create a little cut line so then that can fit in like so okay and then this one I'm going to do the same no I'm not ignore me I'm not going to do the same it's just this one but I'm going to add a little stitch line onto there as well just to add again a little bit of detail so I'm going to pop this in pop it down make sure it's straight and then go and pull it out. so it's just a little detail that looks really cute and at the end of the day it's these little details that you don't get on a shop brought card okay so it doesn't have to be perfect it's just there for detail and again on this cloud i am just going to pop that in pop it down and do a running stick pull that through cut off these taily bits like so and you'll be glad to know that's the sewing done but the sewing really does make all the difference it's just a cute little detail that i really like so then this cloud is going to sit in front of so i'm just going to add a little bit of adhesive onto the bottom there and then pop that behind but then in also in front so it looks like it's going from one cloud into the other like so okay and then you can leave that to dry for a sec we're going to do some die cutting next so i've got my cutting in box machine and i've got some of the silver foil so this comes in a pack of three different types of foil um so there's plenty to choose from but i chose the lightest one because it's the most shiny in my opinion so I'm going to die cut this with those uh, amazing thanks dies. So I saw my dies in these clear wallets with the magnetic sheet. You know what, I can just reach in and grab that. So I'm going to pop that on top and run that through. And back again. Throw it down. There's my word. This can go onto the floor. Just while we're finishing this art, he says, I "Can't pick up the dice." So let's pop some adhesive on the back of this. If you wanted, you can use our adhesive sheets in order to apply the dye. Um, so the adhesive is already on there but i'm just gonna pop a little blob here there and everywhere just so it roughly sticks and what i'm going to do is just grab my thing with the adhesive and just pop it onto some card and peel it up and that's just going to remove any excess that we don't want and then I'm going to pop that, I'm going to want this in the centre and then the amazing across, like so, like that. And do you know what we've forgotten? We've forgotten a little ink splatter, so we'll do that. I have Clear everything out of the way because you don't want white ink going everywhere. So I have a 
water painter, one of the old ones, kind of very, oh, nearly off the screen, which is already full of kind of re -inker. and it is literally just going to be a matter of tapping that down and getting it everywhere. It's gone all over my clothes. And then it's gonna stay wet as long as you put the lid back on. And this is an old water painter. I don't use this for water coloring anymore, solely just for white ink splatter. So it's always good to go. I'm gonna leave that to dry. And while that dries, I'm going to turn this around and pop some dimensionals on the back. Like so. So that's ready to be placed onto our card. Now, I did have some Whisper White card, but it's gone missing. Typical. So I've taken the You Are One of a Kind stamp from the Slim Same stamp set. And I'm using two different colours using Daffodil Delight and Bermuda Bay. Let me just go grab some more Whisper Whites. Uh, basic Whites, even. Well, a numpty, and then Basic Whites. So you're gonna choose one of your colors. Ink that up. Stamp it down. Okay, now. I am being, being a little bit wasteful with my card, but just because it's easier that way for demonstrational purposes. I'm going to give it a clean using my chamois, like so. And then ink up my Bermuda, flip it around, stamp that down, close that up so it doesn't dry out. Again, give that stamp a quick clean. And then, where's my trimmer gone? It's here. Does anybody else lose their stuff? Whenever I am crafting, I put something down and I'm forever losing it. So then, all I'm going to do is line up the edge of my word. The bottom edge of my word with the inner part of my trimmer blade and then cut that so you can see I didn't stamp straight but by doing this I am going to cut it straight I'll just drop that so let's do it in reverse so let's go you in the daffodil delight and then R oh, in Bermuda Bay. Flip that round. Put that in. Like and cut. So then you've got your UR, which you can then cut down, not using my good scissors. Not using my fabric scissors, I should say, and then just give in that a chop down, ideally cut it straight. Again, you could put that in your trim if you want to, but it's probably take longer so. You've got the U, R. The R is going to be attached with liquid glue. So let's pop a little bit of Tombow on the back. And then that's going to sit on our rainbow. And then the U is going to be popped up with a dimensional, which again, I have lost. No, I haven't. It's here. Like so. 
So this should now be nearly dry. If not, it'll be dry enough for us to use. As long as you use uh, sufficient water in your mixture, you're good to go. And I'm gonna pop that in the center like so. And then put the U to the other side. Like that. Flip this over. Put some dimensionals on the back. Two, three, four, and one in the middle for luck. Then it's just a matter of popping that onto our card. Like so. Lining it up. Now you could always make if you do stitch the card, if you wanted to make it a lot cleaner, you can. But I like the tattered edges. I think it adds to it. I wouldn't rip a piece of card if it wasn't for me liking a little bit of distressing. And then finally, we're just going to add some, make a mess of my room, rhinestones. So I'm going to pop one. Big one, down, I'm going to do a medium one, and then a small one, and then we'll do a big one here, and then a little one again, just here, and just like that I have a messy room. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I have... A nice slim line project using the Sunshine and Rainbows DSP, which again is free with orders of £45. If you're new to Stampin' Up and you live in the UK, France, Germany, Austria and the Netherlands, please feel free to reach out to me. I'm happy to answer any product queries you might have. Otherwise, enjoy creating this card and I will speak to you later. Bye.